when I was on the cross and I was in incredible pain, um, the, there was a man named Ken, and he uh, would every day he was like Jim, and he he was distracting me because he wanted me to put headphones on so I could listen to a song, and I said I, no no I don't I don't want to do that I'm in the Aramaic world here and I gotta think, and, I, and uh, every day I would get up there and. and Sure, sure enough, about 15, 20 minutes in, I would just, you know, you're spinning around, the cross is going back and forth, your shoulder keeps getting ripped out, because you're right next to a cliff, and there's five, five knot winds that come up, and then all of a sudden it shoots up to 30, and then it just it hits the cross, right, like a stick, it just, boom, and, and that rips your shoulder out, because you're tied in. Mm. And so, Mel goes, what can I do to help? And I, I really just leaned over and would throw up. And Ken finally just had it come up at the top, and he goes, listen to this. And it was Michael W. Smith's song, Above All. And I, I said, all right, just hang on. And I would listen to it, and, and, uh, and I would listen to it again and again. I just, I just played it on repeat, and then he would come up in between takes and just put the song on. I would listen to the words in my You know, when you cry, you, you, it, it doesn't just happen in your face. You can feel it in your heart. It begins to swell. And when it gets hot like that, you can do anything. Love can make you do anything. I couldn't feel the pain anymore. I'd get up there at 10.30 on that thing, not every day, but many days in a row. They had to put the makeup, to, my makeup times were from uh, 2 a.m. Uh, till 10 a.m. And then from 10.30 to 4.30, I was freezing. And that's the light, that's the only light we have. Mm -hmm. And but the makeup putting on, all that on, and. We did all of this, but we only, what you saw was this. So all of this other stuff got cut out of the film. Mm -hmm. Mel was continually uh, perfecting it, moving the cameras and saying, no, no, but we got something today. Let's try this tomorrow. And then the weather changed. We can't use it. He says, well, let's use this dark stuff. And then suddenly, then the shoulders dislocated and, and they'd work around that. And, and, um, and so um, the, something was birthing through this suffering. When I put that music on, my heart got swollen, and out it just started coming. I didn't have to act anymore. I was just, uh, he, I could feel his heartbreak for all of us. The all of uh, Jesus, so many of the, the, the uh, uh, his children don't love him. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, you know, I love you. I know you love us, but I want you to know I love you, and I want to do this with you. I don't want to do it alone. I want them to see you, and I want you to be with me. And I, I couldn't feel any more pain.